so before starting the data link layer we should start by discussing about the different kind of delays in computer networks or you can say different kinds of delays in network this is delays in networks delays in networks so the first kind of delay will be called as the transmission delay it will be called as the transmission transmission delay the transmission delay so what is transmission delay assume this is one host this is one host this is host h1 assume this is the second host this is host h2 and they have a transmission media or can say transmission link between them so this is the network or the transmission link or you can say or transmission link network or transmission link now this host h1 is communicating with the host h2 and for communicating the host h1 is sending some data packets to h2 this is assume some it, it is a data packet it is a data packet which may be having some bits for example these are the bits bits are 1101110011 something and so on now the time taken to place this complete data packet on this transmission media is called as transmission delay or you can say transmission time so we want to place this complete data packet on this transmission media and the data packet is 1101110011 right so this time is called as transmission delay this time is called as transmission delay assume we are showing the transmission delay as tt or you can say transmission time so it is transmission time now what do you think on what factors the transmission time are, is dependent for example this transmission time is directly proportional to the length of the data packet to the length of the data packet to the length of the data packet or you can say size of the data packet okay then what are the number of bits in the packet secondly this transmission time is inversely proportional to the bandwidth of the network it is inversely proportional to the bandwidth of the network because if we have more bandwidth then the transmission time will be less if we have less bandwidth then the transmission time will be more so transmission time is actually dependent on the bandwidth of the network so you can say what is transmission time transmission time is length of the data packet length of the data packet upon bandwidth of the network upon bandwidth of the network upon bandwidth of the network length of the data packet upon bandwidth of the network let for example assume assume that length of the data packet is 1000 bits and bandwidth of the network is 1 uh, k kilo bits per second kilo bits per second kilo bits per second then what is the transmission time then transmission time is 1000 bits upon 1 kilo bits per second upon 1 kilo bits per second so you can clearly see what is this this is 1000 bits upon 1000 bits per second so you can say multiplied by second in the numerator so here you can clearly see bits is cancelled with bits and 1000 is cancelled with 1000 so it is not 10000 it is 1000 so the transmission time here in this case is 1 second the transmission time here in this case is 1 second in the same way if i take one more question for this one assume assume is it visible right so assume if we have the length of the data packet is 1 1 kilobyte the length of the data packet is 1 kilobyte and the bandwidth of the network is 1 kbps 
and the bandwidth of the network is 1 kbps now remember one simple thing the data is generally measured in the powers of 2 that means what, what do i mean to say here is for example if you have if you have uh, one byte then one byte is equal to 8 bits or you can say 2 raised to power 3 bits if you have one kilobyte then it is 2 raised to power 10 bytes or you can say 1024 bytes if you have one megabyte then it is 2 raised to power 10 kilobyte or 2 raised to power 20 bytes if one gigabyte is 2 raised to power 10 megabytes or 2 raised to power 20 kilobytes or 2 raised to power 30 bytes in the same way one terabyte is 2 raised to power 10 gigabytes 2 raised to power 20 megabytes 2 raised to power 30 kilobytes or 2 raised to power 40 bytes generally you can see that uh, on this data is always made and measured in the powers of 2 but if you discuss about the bandwidth and bandwidth is measured in the powers of 10 bandwidth is measured in powers of 10 in powers of 10 why do i am why i am saying it is measured in the powers of 10 because generally signal travels in frequencies right so signal travels in frequencies like this signal travels like this so when signal travels like this then if you discuss about the bandwidth then we uh, discuss about in one second then how many oscillations are there or you can say in how, one second how many these amplitudes or you can say peak amplitude in this uh, cycle is there right so that is giving the bandwidth so bandwidth is generally measured in the powers of 10 and data is measured in the powers of 2 that means if i am saying if i am saying here in this case the length of the data packet is length of data packet is 1 kilobyte that means it is 2 raised to power 10 bytes 2 raised to power 10 bytes or you can say 2 raised to power 13 bits or you can say 2 raised to power 13 bits because I have converted bytes into bits when we discuss about this bandwidth then bandwidth is measured in the powers of 10 that means it is uh, 10 raised to power 3 bits per second 10 raised to power 3 bits per second right so what is 10 raised to power 3 10 raised to power 3 is basically equal to 1000 and 2 raised to power 10 is basically equal to 1024 now if you discuss about transmission time in this case then transmission time here will be 2 raised to power 13 divided by 10 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 13 divided by 10 raised to power 3 which is basically uh, what is 2 raised to power 10 it is 1024 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 2 raised to power 11 is 2048 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 and 2 raised to power 13 will be 8182 I think so 8182 sorry 92 it is 8192 so here it will be 8192 divided by 1000 which is equal to 8.192 seconds which is 8.192 seconds so remember this thing remember we, we are discussing about the uh, this uh, uh, bandwidth then bandwidth is measured in the powers of 2 and uh, bandwidth is measured in the powers of 10 and data is measured in the powers of 2 okay this is called as a transmission time now let us discuss about the next time which is called as a propagation time what is a propagation time